Hey guys, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. I have so many good things to show you today. I'm so excited and I've got some home things and please be patient because you know when I get into something, I'm into it. Once I'm done, I will quit bugging you with this stuff, but I feel like I should share it with you because you'll get the advantage of my designer into you. So I'm gonna share some things like that and some good stuff on sale. Okay, so let's start with some PR that that I got last week. I think it was the day of my video. And it's this Too Faced Cosmic Crush collection. Now I have already given the two highlighters away because they were too blingy for my mature skin. But you guys, this palette is just gorgeous. This color is what I start off with. I've got it on today. That color and then that color and then that color and that one and that one and then that's a good one and then best of all if you have been here with me for many years you remember that hourglass black shadow it was a single i don't know why i got rid of that i guess because you couldn't buy it anymore but i have looked and looked for a comparable shadow and that black shadow is almost as good the only reason i say that is because i don't have the other one to compare but it is so good for a liner i have used that probably two or three days as my sole liner and then just worn mascara with no lashes which by the way if you didn't watch my Walmart walking outfits haul from the other day I didn't wear lashes in that video and I thought I was gonna have so many of you tell me how much better I looked without lashes but I don't think anybody even noticed and I thought that was funny anyway all of these are just beautiful now am I gonna wear that one Probably not, but a lot of these I will wear. They had a girl on one of the ads and she had this like all over her eyes for a smoky eye. It's just a really good palette. Then this, I would have never thought I would have liked this, but it is the Too Faced Lip Injection Maximum Plump. Extra Strength Instant and Long Term Lip Plumper in Cosmic Crush. The first day I put this on, something magic happened. Let me go get the other lip product so I can show you it's what I'm wearing today. Okay, I hope it'll work on my hand, but it was like the day after and I wanted to wear this Pillow Talk Blur from Charlotte Tilbury, the one that I showed you last week. And I knew I was gonna like it, but I didn't like it with the lip liner I wore last week. So I wanted to do it over. Then I just wanted to just see what this would look like on top of it. And I don't ever just put it right on there because I don't want to mess things up. So I'm going to just get some off here on my hand. I hope it does the same thing. It does. Did you guys see that happen? It makes it lighter and different. It is the weirdest thing because I tried to put it over the Pillow Talk Medium and it didn't do the same thing. I don't know if it's a chemical reaction. I hope smoke doesn't start coming off, but it just... Uh, I mean, that is so gorgeous. So you're left with a light pink lip with a little bit of the stain around the edges. It is just so pretty. So if you're out, pick this up because it's pretty on its own. It's not as sparkly as it looks like it's gonna be and use it over that pillow talk or use it over some other things. It might work on some other lighter colors. I'll keep trying. Okay, so let's go on to some other lip products I picked up when I was in Ulta. I actually got several more than the two I'm gonna show you, but these were the most impressive out of all of them and I haven't worn all of them. So I thought I would just show you these two today. Both of these are Anastasia and she came out with some new colors this one is called Honey Kiss. See how it's just like this goldy, shimmery color. It is full on. Like don't even think that this is going to be sheer and you're gonna wear it over another color. It will cover another color. But what it's gonna be good for is mixing with a lip liner. Very pretty. Smells good, it smells sweet. Sticky, but not crazy sticky. I would compare it to maybe City Beauty, something like that. And then the next color that I picked up that I thought was pretty special is Cantaloupe. And I put this on right when I left, when I got in the car, and I was like, wow, they're gonna love this. I don't know if it's gonna show well enough, but see how it's kind of like that milky, light, fleshy color, and then it 
also has like a little bit of sparkle in it. Tiny, tiny. I mean, this is so pretty mm, and it feels so good. I love it. So those of you that like these light colors like this, this is a must have. For those of you that like the foiled colors and the shimmer, which is really coming back, then you would love this. On to some PR from Laura Mercier. I always love when I see this box get here because I know nine times out of 10 or more, I'm going to love what's in it. This is the Caviar Stick Eyeshadow in matte, which has been around, but they released some new colors and now they've added a Caviar Tight Line Eyeliner. Okay, so let me swatch the tight liners first. I have used these every day since I got them and the one I have on today on my lower waterline is the blue one and I love it. The blue marine and then tuxedo, which is gonna be your black. Cocoa, ooh, that is gorgeous. That is a beautiful, beautiful brown. It almost has like this plummy undertone to it. Oh my gosh, I love these, I love these. And then this one I have used a couple of times, bronze. So you can see that bronze is almost like a, it's almost like a khaki. It's got a little bit of that greenish tone to it, which is really pretty on the lower waterline also. Just some good, good colors, really. It reminds me of the Victoria Beckham, like with the textures and the richness of the colors. And then the shadow sticks they sent me that are new. This one is Cafe Noir. This one is an older one. It's the All Natural. This one is a really good one for the lid. It's not a stark white. It's kind of like a cool toned tan. This one is Dune. So Dune is a little bit more of a creamy tone. And I would say, yeah, you can see All Natural is real cool toned, almost like a gray undertone. Whereas this one, what was this called again? Dune is more of a pinky fleshy undertone, kind of like painterly paint pot. This is cobblestone. Yes, that's a good, just like matte gray, kind of like a blue gray. I need to use that more. I really like that color. This is the most exciting one to me. It's called Brick, but it's such a cool color. One day I used it on the corner of my eyes, like right here, and it just looked so pretty. It's just I'm trying to think of like a MAC shadow I can compare it to. Maybe Embark. One of those that has almost like a little bit of burgundy undertone. But I mean, just look at those colors. Aren't they gorgeous? It makes you think about fall when you see these colors, but it makes them wearable. So loving these. Thank you so much, Laura Mercier, for including me with this. Hey, and then sunglasses. I actually had these to show you last week, but probably the reason I forgot them is because they don't fit me. I really wanted them to. They're crazy glasses like I like. They do sit a little bit on my cheeks, but they fit better than I remember. <laughs> I know this is crazy. It reminds me of the apple felled person woman and I really like her, but it reminds me of someone else too. And I can't remember who it is, but if any of you are interested in big, crazy glasses, these are pretty fabulous. So I've just been wearing them in my hair today. And then I ordered two pair of sunglasses from Preve Reveau. One of my friends, Sigrid, that I see at the pool all the time, she lives out here where I do. She had these on and they look so good on her every time I see her and I thought, I think she was at the mailbox and I got her to look at what the name is and it's called So Famous. And it's funny because I said, I need the ones with no nose pieces. And she said, oh, well, I need the ones that don't. So I said, we're all weirdos. But okay, these definitely sit on my cheeks. See how they're all over my cheeks, which if I didn't wear makeup, it wouldn't be a big deal. Like if I was just wearing these to the beach and I didn't have makeup on, but what it does is in this heat and humidity, it will melt my makeup like this. I already have it melt on my nose, no matter what. I love these so much, but they do not fit me. Okay, and then these. I could not wait to show you these. I'm getting the others. There were two different colors. I had them both in my cart, but I was like, quit freaking out. Just get one, see if they fit. And they are beautiful. Look at these sunglasses. They look like Gucci. They are Sunfest and they fit perfectly. I mean, look how well they fit on my face. Love them. I love the simplicity, but then it just has a little detail right there. And they're oversized. They're kind of Hollywood, 
just beautiful. I think you need them. Preve Revo is always running sales. Seems like when I got these, I got buy one pair, got something off. But I really, really like these. This is a good way. Oh, and it has like that little crisscross thing right there. It's a good way to try this type of style without, you know, spending a lot of money and getting this look without having to worry about them if they fall off or if you leave them somewhere. Let the games begin. We'll start doing some home stuff and then some clothes. This is one of my favorite things that came this week, these pillows. And that is one of the tips that my interior designer used is when you get pillows, make sure you get them in groups of two and the smallest you want is 22 by 22, but you really want something bigger. And if you can choose, get the down inserts. So that's what I've been doing. And I love these, I love them. That is just like me, 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 but in a classier way. So it's a good way to put your personality in there, but not be too cheesy. I know my disco ball on the table got away with so many of you. And the more I looked at it, I didn't like it because it was just too small. So I'm working on something else for that table, but I did take it upstairs and I love it up there. It goes better, I think with my upstairs and more of that Parisian kind of simpler look and the white colors and all of my plants. But so now it's still on looking for something for that. And I've got a few other things I'm gonna show you. Okay, I don't know if you can see that blankie that Bubba is laying on. That is actually from Walmart. It's Better Homes and Gardens. And my designer told me that she had bought those for her daughters and that they were really nice. And I'm really into that green color, especially the mossy green. And I got that and I just cannot believe how pretty it is for the price. So that's something you definitely need to get in whatever color you wish. I've got some clothes I'm gonna show you. I ordered this hat. I have been so into the baseball caps this year. I love them for walking and going to the pool. Typically, I like the big sun hat, but this year I've just really been preferring just putting my hair in a ponytail, putting it through here and just wearing this to go to the pool and then go on my walk later in that day. And I love like this hat with, I mean like with this outfit, let's go ahead and show you this outfit because it is fabulous. When I put this outfit on, I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna love this. And it comes in so many colors. Okay, I need to back up and talk about something. There's so much that I want to do and I want to say, and it is so hard to do it all, but yet I don't want any help. You know what I mean? Like there are people on here that have teams and I tried that and I didn't like it because you can't help but when someone else is helping you do something like your Instagram or help choose things or help anything, they're gonna do it differently than you would. And then it becomes not yours and I didn't like that. So my team is, I do have an editor that I love very much and John and Brooke and myself, that is my team. And that's really the way I want it. So it's hard for me to get to everything when I want to. All of this to say, you know the big dupes video that I'm gonna do, I will probably still do that, but I just can't see myself doing it in the next couple of weeks because it's Amazon Prime time. I want to tell you all my Amazon favorites because a lot of things will be on sale, including my very, very, very loved ice maker that I use every day, all day. And so I wanna make that video. Nordstrom sale is coming up. I've gone and I've put all my choices in my wish list. We have a hotel picked out and John, Will and I are going for a little mini vacay for me to go do that. And then we'll go do some other stuff too. So that's gonna be going on next week. And it's just one of those things where I'm just having a hard time doing it all. So like I said last week, I'm gonna share some of my dupes here with you. And then if I end up doing a video later on, you'll already have them. So it will be just another win. But with all that said, I wanted to show you this outfit. The way I found this is Caroline, that I always talk about, had on a little outfit and it was some expensive, expensive brand. It was called a either a traveling or a driving outfit. And and then I saw that they had something similar on free people. Well, I went and found this on Amazon for like half the cost and it feels so good. It does not feel acrylic-y. 
It doesn't feel itchy. It feels amazing. I am going to probably get every color. It is so good. You know, I always start off with black. For one thing, I like it. And that is just a tip that if you're going to get less expensive things, get black, white, cream, tan, get those solid colors, monochromatic. All of that is going to make things look more luxe and more expensive. So that's usually why I start off with black, but I really want some other outfits like this and I'll take this off now. But anyway, so it in the hat, cute, even with like this outfit and the Tiki's. This is such a good one. It's such a good one. I have already worn these all around. They are so comfortable. I would have to say these and the sparkly Steve Maddens that I showed you last week are probably my best two dupes I think I have. But look at this. Some of my all-time favorite shoes, and I realize these are a look. You either like it or you don't, but you can't deny that they're popular and they're here to stay. They only just come out in new colors every year. These are my real Bottega Veneta, and these are Amazon. And you guys, I'm telling you, this color is actually prettier than this color. The Amazon ones might be slightly lower heel, but I wanted to wear this anyway today with this outfit to show you how you could dress it up. So let's do your baseball cap with this outfit. These shoes are so comfortable. That's why I had to find a dupe for them. I mean, such a cute little outfit. It just is comfortable. It's put together. It's fun. It's stylish. I just put on the same jewelry that I wore yesterday. I did a reel with my outfit and I had my Jenny Bird jewelry on. This is my Sheila Fajal ring. We're all out of order here. Some more Jenny Bird. I've been organizing my jewelry. My Bull of a Watch, which I adore because it's so funky and retro looking. And then this is the Jenny Bird balloon cuff. And then the Jenny Bird balloon earrings. I love these. Okay, and then my nail polish is Chanel Ballerina. It's the ultimate. I need to get a backup bottle because mine is about halfway through and, you know, they do crazy things. So, okay, so let's start with some home stuff and go from there. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure where this is going to go, but I went in Pottery Barn and I wanted a great big, I guess you would say a vessel or a vase and I wanted it pottery, but I didn't want it too rustic. I wanted it to still look pretty, but look a little bit like pottery, and this just fit the bill. So I grabbed this, and remember these leaves that I got last week. This probably will not stay in here. It's just what I've done with this for the time being. But love this, and I will say that Pottery Barn is having a major sale right now. I didn't even know it when I went in there, but you know, they're getting rid of summer stuff. So a lot of things you wouldn't even think are summer are, and they had on sale, like a lot of pillows and things like that. Oh my God, you guys, this is like working out my stomach here. This sucker is heavy. It's much heavier than that. But like this dish, I think I'm gonna use this on that table, that table or this one. And you can do anything with it, like my decorator that's helping me, she said to maybe get a succulent little arrangement put in it, or you know how you can do the moss balls, you can do the glass balls, all of that kind of stuff. But I just loved it. And I loved that it had like that Tuscan look. And then if you notice in a lot of Parisian designs, they'll have the terracotta like this. I'm running out of breath. And then this, I actually saw last time I was in there, which was about a month ago. These come in, I believe, three different sizes, and they also come in like the natural terracotta. I was thinking I might use this on the table and put something tall in it, like a snake plant or something that just needed medium light. But she said the scale was off. It was too tall, but it was on sale. It was only $25, so I'm going to keep it and just put something good in it outside or something but isn't it pretty it's so sweet i have to put this down Whew. <laughs> if you remember back to my pink kitchen and the window treatments that i loved that i made with the beads and everything oh i really enjoyed sewing now i don't miss it because that was a different season but i really enjoyed that if you are ever thinking of taking up that hobby it is so rewarding it is. Back in that day, I was more shabby chic. I loved that French country, 
shabby chic type vibe with the tea green kitchen and then I had the I think it was called French breakfast pink dining room that's what this goes with so a lot of times I get carried back to that I love like white with ruffles or you know like lots of molding and stuff like that and that's what this reminds me of but it's so pretty I could had to show it to you and then I don't have these this particular style in the Bottega Veneta but I saw these on the Cushion Air part of Amazon and I already knew that this brand is so good. I have the UGG dupes in the Cushion Air and honestly, they're just equal. They are just so comfortable. So when I saw these, I decided I would grab them and they're so comfortable, they're so good. So if you like what I have on now, you can easily put it on with these and get that same look. Because I know not everybody likes high heels and it's not always appropriate for whatever you're doing. I just can't say enough about this outfit. I think it's some type of 50-50 blend. It's not all nylon or 100% acrylic or anything like that. It really feels good. I love it when I have so much good stuff to show you. Loving those, oh my gosh, you guys. The cushion is like all over. You will love those. Okay, anything else over here? Let's get on to some dupes and then some new stuff. Okay, I ordered this tank top from Amazon. Does it look like anything I have shown you recently that it, I said is my favorite? The Air Sexy Flexi tank top. Looks just like it. I'll have to compare what they're made of. This is 46 cotton, 46 rayon, 8% spandex. That is a pretty good blend. I don't think that's going to shrink. Just a good tank top and good tank tops are a must have because we will use these even in the fall and winter underneath other things as just a base layer. It's just good to have. So you need to try this. And then this is something I ordered a few weeks ago and I forgot to show you from Cause. In my opinion, this is an adult tube top. It's ribbed so that it's going to be, you know, like I said, very forgiving. I will put that video up here where I did how to dress younger and I'm not saying how to dress to look younger. I'm just saying how to take the looks that we like and that we may see on other younger influencers or models or friends or celebrities and adapt those to our 40, 50 some year old bodies. This is how you would do it. You would get something that's thicker, a little bit nicer made, it has texture, and it's longer. So this is gonna go right to your high-waisted pants and then you put a blazer over it. It comes in lots of colors. I'm pretty excited about it. I love how it's kind of like a dressy fabric too. Okay, a lot of this stuff I was saving for other videos and it just doesn't work well for me. Okay, this little dress, and I do mean little. This is short. I pretty much know this is gonna be too short for me, but it's so pretty. And I do have a lot of you that say you are petite. And one of you even asked if I could have Brooke my daughter who is 23 and petite, if I could have her try on things, but her body in my body is so different. She is very curvy and voluptuous and I am very more angular. So that wouldn't work, but this dress is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, the quality is amazing. I might keep it just to see what fun things I can do with it, like maybe wear it with leggings and a blazer over it. I just like it that much. I'm gonna just, it wasn't very expensive. I really like it and I'm just gonna see if it works for me. If nothing else, I'll wear it over my bathing suit or something. But for those of you that are petite, I think you will love this. Then my friend Tracy told me about these from Amazon. They're the little padded t-shirts. They come in all different colors, but I have noticed the colors that I just go to time and time again are always going to be black, white. Um, I was trying to say what order, black and white, then gray then tan, then pink, then blue, maybe even blue before pink these days. But anyway, she said that she just wears these all the time, that they've held up well and she loves them. And she sent me the link and I ordered them immediately. And they do have just, you know, that little bit of padding. If I had to say, you know, how these compare to the Zara, which is my other ones that I wear all the time. And matter of fact, if you're wondering why I didn't post a Zara video last weekend, it's because I guess the mail got messed up because of July 4th and I just got the 
package that I was supposed to get, I think last Friday, I just got it yesterday. So this weekend, look for a double Zara video. I would probably say 20 to 30 pieces and some really good stuff. A lot of times, you know, I'm shopping and I'm getting the sexy dresses and all of this stuff that not everybody particularly likes, but in this particular haul, I got a lot of blazers and a lot of really cool pants. And I had a lot of you in mind, you know, for different situations and all of our different ages and body shapes. So make sure you look for me on Saturday with that video. But anyway, I'll show you the Zara black one during that video. I would have to say the Zara shoulder pads are thicker and more pronounced than these. This is gonna be a little bit of a lower profile. It's not gonna come out as much and it's not gonna be as tall. So it just depends on which look that you want. I would say if you've never tried one of these, get these because it's gonna be an easy step into it. Okay, this beautiful dress. Is that not gorgeous? This is my dupe for the Anthropology, and I'm gonna lose the name again. Let me look it up real quick. This is funny, I just looked up Famous Anthro Dress, and it came up, the Somerset. I have had the Somerset, I do still have the Somerset. There was a couple of them I had to send back because they were too small, but I think I got to keep, nope, nope, that one was too short. I remember it was green. I'm thinking of my other blue one, but I, that one was too short because I had gotten the mini, <laughs> but this, is my Amazon dupe for the Somerset dress. And I shouldn't say dupe, just inspired. It's just inspired. But doesn't that look just like it? And it is so pretty. The fabric is so nice. I just love it. This is amazing. This will come in handy for so many different reasons. This is your, I don't know, you know I love to sashay around the house feeling vibey and good, but this is also good for any date night. You could probably wear this to work. I don't think that's gonna cut down as much. I'll try it on for you guys and put the footage in here. I just decided this morning on a whim to include this stuff. So I really love this. And like I said, the fabric, is nice. It's not too heavy. I would say it's a polyester of some sort for sure. Let me look. And it is lined, has a black lining. Trying to get to the tag here. I'm gonna have to just look on the website because I don't see what it's made of here, but it's really nice. I remember I was um, surprised when I got this. Okay, and then this, I looked this morning because I was starting to do my links and my information to put down below. And I do have a lot of people ask me, like, where can I find this? Or where's the link for that? If you push, I think it's more right under me, it flips out the description box. And what I've started doing is just taking all that information and putting it as the first comment. You can find all the links of everything that I show, except for this. It's a cause just, cause is, it's almost like elevated basics, kind of like quiet luxury basics is how I would you know, describe it. Even that tube top is elevated, it's thicker, it's cut better, it's made of a good fabric. Same thing with this, just a good, black sweatshirt, nothing better in the winter and in the fall here in the winter with just some old crazy pants and some boots and just whatever, you know, I just love sweatshirts like this. And then I think this is the score of the century, this outfit and this outfit. One of you sent this to me in my DMs from Instagram, and I thank you so much. You guys are so good to me, thank you. But remember when I showed these outfits from Free People, and I told you that there are several inspired looks like this on Amazon, but when I looked at them, they had too much acrylic and polyester in them. Well, one of you sent me this, and this is like 50-50 cotton. Okay, 55 acrylic, 45 cotton. And the other one was like mostly acrylic. So it isn't very breathable. But this with the almost half and half cotton is going to be much more breathable and you're going to be able to wash it and dry it without it fading or shrinking or getting as wrinkled. So I grabbed this as a inspired piece from the Free People 
and I think it's maybe better because it's so much less expensive. You can get more of them and it might last longer. So between these two outfits, I think you need to order them, definitely. I just love that. And you know how these have the pants like this? Whereas these, I really love these pants. See how there's like even a little tuck at the bottom? Ooh, I love these. Okay, and then last but not least, remember when I told you you should change your bedding often? <laughs> Well, I just changed my bedding. And the reason is I kept my old stuff. I got the big lint roller out. I lint rolled, I got all the cat hair off of everything. We took everything off and I folded it up and put it away. But when I was talking to a friend, she was telling me how much she loves the linen sheets. And I was ready for some new sheets because I always like white sheets and mine were so dingy even when i bleached them from the self tanner and from just having them since i moved in here so i was like hmm i hear people talk about linen sheets all the time i love the way linen feels let me just try them so i got them i washed them three times like she told me i put them on the bed and i love them of course i still use my sleep and glow pillow with the satin pillowcase i don't have my face on the linen but it just feels like I always say hearty and good. You know how I like a weighty fabric and I love weight at night. We put it down to like 68 in here and we like to get it real cold and then have heavy blankies on. So I got those and then I ordered two fabulous art pieces for my room. And I'm not sure that that black loud bedding is going to go with those art pieces. Because of that, and because I loved the linen so much, I went to Pottery Barn and got their Belgian flax linen white duvet. I already had a white waffle blanket, but I've been really into this smoky gray green lately. And one of my art pieces is black and white. And I just know how much, you know how I even love that dark gray green eyeshadow. And I always say it's so Bridget Bardot, it's so 60s. That's what it's like. So I love it. I love it. Like I said, I might end up putting the other one back on at some time, or I might end up mixing it up. But right now I'll put a picture in here. I found a great big long bolster pillow at one of the local like fabulous places to go here where they do a lot of design and they always have really nice stuff. It's the place that I ordered my art, my coffee table and my kitchen chairs. And I got that case over there. They sell a lot of the well-known brands. I got a big pillow to go on my bed and I'm loving it. And ooh, one more thing too. Oh my gosh. I got this really cool big blue vessel and some really crazy greenery and I put it on top of John's chest kind of behind me like when I did my Walmart video and I'm getting some art to go back there too and already as wild and crazy as that looks and tall as it is it's so neat how it brings your eye up in the room gorgeous I got two new lamps coming for beside my bed. They're supposed to be here today. That's something else that got delayed with the shipping. So if I get those, I will put them in here. I'm hoping I'm gonna wrap it up pretty soon because I'm ready. I have so much other stuff to do and you know how I am. I'll be on this for a little while and then I'll go back to my regularly scheduled program. So thank you so much for being here and I will see you in the next video. I'll see you this weekend with Sara. Bye-bye.